So the first thing that we're going to look at on the Starboy album is the lead title, which is Starboy. Now, what I want to point out right away is the album name itself being Starboy. We could say that someone is a Starboy or that you are a star boy. That's two different things that, you know, you could kind of interpret from that album. But the actual name of the project, Starboy, is a noun that Weekend is using to describe himself. I know that might seem rudimentary, but it's important to get context on why this language is being used and why things are being presented in the way that they're being presented. It's not to look for every little detail that could be twisted into what I'm trying to uh, communicate here, but it's really significant that he called this project Starboy, and there's also some significance behind the idea of what a star is. So when you think of a star, typically most people associate it with the Hollywood star, five star general, just that five point star that you usually see um, in, in most things, right? That five point star is actually called a pentagram. And really what that is, is it's an ancient pagan symbol used in a lot of different ways. Now, I'm not saying that every time a star or a five point star is used, it's directly attributed to some sort of pagan ritual or symbolism. Obviously fans have five blades. Some car spokes might have five, bla uh, five spokes. So uh, the context of everything is really important. It's not just the fact that a symbol of a star is being used. So that five point star, that pentagram is commonly connected with Wicca and also Satan worship. If you look into the history of it, Elias Levy is also the person that started associating the pentagram with the Baphomet head, which we see in Satan worship. He was the first person to do that, drawing heavily from Wicca in order to make that connection. What's more, the planet Venus actually makes a pentagram in the sky every eight years. Now that name Venus, Lucifer, is actually the Latin name of the planet Venus, which is also considered the bright and morning star. Now if you look in the Bible, we know that Lucifer's name is actually morning star. Lucifer, oh morning star, have you fallen? And I'll put that Bible scripture on the screen right now. Now of course we could do a whole video on that and I think that could get really deep really quickly. But let's just use that as context to kind of depict why The Weeknd is calling himself Star Boy. Knowing that star and that pentagram, what it represents, and now The Weeknd's calling himself Star Boy. Now again, I'm not drawing lines that aren't there because the cover of Star Boy actually tells a very similar story. 